Welcome to Christmas 2021. It's a real rich emerald green. Very festive indeed. It's nine in the city and I'm on my Imagine one of them on the balcony. Humming on my favourite Did you see those ditty. magical things? Swing a light cool. Are we a bit bright? I don't know if the camera settings are a little bit bright. But that's the bit that I'm no good with. I have to get Ryan to sort it all out. We're gonna go with it. I hope I don't look like a ghost. Good morning, everyone. Look what I've got here. Look what I've got. Oh. Now, I don't buy stuff like this unless it's for the kids. Do you know why? Because I eat it all in about five minutes. But Ryan's been to the shop this morning because we were out of milk. I've just found two of these in the cupboard. So I've stuck it on top of the toaster for a minute or so and um, I'm gonna enjoy it, you know? This isn't for the kids, by the way. I'm not eating the kids because it's got dark chocolate in there. So I know that he bought it for him. Anyway, whilst I have my cup of tea and my pastry, welcome to Christmas 2021. This is the start of my Christmas content. I am so excited. I'm excited for today because I'm doing something exciting today. And um, yeah, I hope you lot are too. So today I want to go Christmas decor shopping. I've not done it properly yet in France because yes, we had our first Christmas here last year. But we'd only been here, living in this house, like a few months. And obviously our main focus was to get it all clean and tidy and fresh paint, things like that. So my priority last year was not going out buying new Christmas decks because I'd already brought all my decorations from the UK over with me. So I was happy to just get those up, which I'm obviously doing again. I'm not buying full new decks or anything like that. I'm staying with my theme that I've already got, which I will, um, I'll show you soon. But I want some new bits. I'm fancying some new bits. I want some new bits for the kids. I just want to see what's about in the shops. There's three favorite shops that I'm hoping to go to today. First one, can you guess? I love it. It's Maison de Monde, which is available to other parts of the world. They offer shipping in various places, so don't feel put off by the name. It's not just France. I'll pop a link to their website down in the description box. They sell some absolutely incredible stuff and I've not yet seen their Christmas decor section, but I think it's going to be good. So we're going to go there. Also, I want to go to, it's like a cheaper um, bits of everything shop. It's called Giphy. I think it's Giphy, it's G-I-F-I. -I. So I'm gonna go there because I feel like they'll have more, I don't know, I just feel like they'll have a huge Christmas section. I'm gonna go check it out. And then I want to go to Botanic, which I love. It's more of a garden center. I feel like they'll have a Christmas, well, I know they'll have a Christmas section because when I took the kids um, shopping last week, or was it the week before, last week, they was just getting it all ready. But I'm not going to that botanic, I'm gonna to go to a different one, so yeah. So exciting stuff. What's it like now? Oh, did you buy these by the way? I can't rule that one, yeah. Mm. Previews to show, yeah, I did the beautiful, aren't they? Mm. 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 Say, mm. say hello. Ryan's just come to tweak oh, my um, settings on the camera because I look bright. like Casper right now. Yeah, you do. It's too bright. <laughs> Let me just sort it out. Okay. Oh, camera settings fixed. Fern stomach fixed. I think we're good. I think we're good. Shall we have a little chat about my shirt? Don't pretend you've not noticed my new emerald green silk shirt. I love it. This is from a brand called Lily Silk, which some of you may have heard of already. They are kindly sponsoring this part of today's video and I'm so excited to tell you a little bit more about the brand. So they specialise in luxury products from homeware to ladies wear obviously, 
They've got a menswear section on there, a children's wear section. They just got some really beautiful items. They've also got some cashmere on there as well. Really great for this time of year if you're thinking about gifts. I got this shirt. I also got a pillowcase, a silk pillowcase, something that I've wanted for quite a long time because I've read a lot of good reviews about the silk pillowcases. They're great for hair health, which is something that I'm focusing a lot more on lately, especially after the longest, hottest summer. You lot saw how frizzy and damaged my hair went in the summer and I feel like I'm just getting it back to normal now. Um, silk is such a beautiful item to sleep with. It's got so many health benefits from obviously the hair factor, letting your hair move around freely without getting knotted and tangled, to letting your skin breathe. It's really good. Temperature regulator. Bugs hate silk. Also, dust hates silk. And it's just a real luxurious item to sleep with. The blouse, so I went for the Pussy Bear one. They obviously sell just the normal button through ones as well. They've got a huge variety of colours on the website from white to off-white to your more coffee shades to your colours. They've just got it all. Check out the website below. I'll leave all the details linked down there along with a discount code as well and you'll find everything in the description box. So I've styled this today just in a slightly more casual way because I've put flat black boots on, leather skirt, tights, and yeah, just want to be comfortable for shopping, obviously. But I think at Christmas time, I am gonna wear this shirt with, I've got a purple skirt downstairs, I'll show you in a sec, see what you think. And I just feel like it'd go really well with this. Should we go and have a look? Well, you can really see the color pop down here. That's more like it. It's a real rich, emerald green very festive indeed this is the skirt guys this is what i bought last year it was actually from zara and i didn't get a chance to wear it because obviously our christmas plans got cancelled but how lovely is that color with the green do you think i love a good color combination like just thinking outside the box a little bit and i feel like they really complement each other I think that's going to be a Christmas, maybe a Christmas day outfit. I don't know. I've not decided yet. Um, and then the other day, I picked up all different shades of tights from this brand. Um, they sell so many different colours. I got all my brown tights. I got some khaki green ones. I got these ones. I also got some pink ones as well from Zara. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna play around with this at Christmas and just get a few more fun looks created but for today um I don't know what jacket I was thinking either so either that coat today or probably actually will these different greens go together this is another Zara number that I got, I think at the beginning of this year, maybe. Two different greens, but it does work. I think I know the perfect jacket, actually. Can you guess? What's my favorite color combo ever? You guessed it. that's the one today's outfit guys this is vintage like proper vintage like i bought it vintage it was off it was either off ebay or from a charity shop i can't remember and i bought it maybe seven years ago let's have a look at the brand it's like super old i had it dry cleaned obviously it doesn't smell or anything but this is the brand and i love it makes its appearance every year and today's its day where's all the christmas songs when do they come on the radio is it too early go johnny go go johnny be good well there's no christmas songs on the radio yet so i had to play my own do you know what my favorite ever Christmas song is you will never 
ever guess. I might be able to give you a teeny clip without getting done. And it's just the best. It gives me, it, I'm sure it's on Home Alone. I'm sure it is on Home Alone at some point. Yeah, it just gives me the full Christmas feels. Are you ready? Did definitely not disappoint did you see the Christmas magic in that shop oh, it's just amazing I'll not show you it all now because half of it's wrapped up and most of it's got kids rooms actually but look at my little mate sat on top how cute I had to pick that up do you know what that didn't go in my basket and then I was stood at the till and he was still staring at me so I was like one minute and I went and grabbed him so he's coming home got a little uh, need to get some batteries in him because he lights up but he is one cutie tootie so I'll show you the rest later on next we're gonna head to Giffy that's the next one en route and then if I've got time hopefully I can finish off at Botanic before the school run so let's go Giffy <laughs> Oh wow, imagine one of them on your balcony. Wowzers, all the reindeer, extra. Oh my gosh, can you them in? I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a bear and a fun. Growing up is just a trap. Just a bit fat trail. I take pride in ever working a day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think of Another successful little loot. Picked up some bits 
mainly for the kids' rooms, really. I keep seeing stuff for Seth's room. Um, but yeah, they had some amazing stuff in there. So I think I'm just gonna have time to nip to Botanic now before the school run. And yeah, Just a bit fat trail. I take pride in ever working that day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think I'm such a lord of crowd? Growing up is just a trail. than I expected in there it was incredible they had so much I've come out because I feel like I need to do that on another day with the kids and Ryan it's an experience I need to take the kids and did you see those magical things I don't know what you call them they're not music boxes they're like light up they play music well I've bought Seth one from Giphy but I feel like that's a really cheap option and they just had the real deal in there they had so many and they had one that said nancy's boutique like is that meant to be or what so what i'm gonna do is probably return the one that i got seth because i feel like they're a real keepsake item those i'm gonna take the kids on like a special festive day and let them choose one each um i couldn't choose for them i really couldn't there were so many beautiful ones they had like um, a little handbag factory, chocolatier, biscuitier, perfume factory, just so many amazing ones. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. That was just magical, honestly. So mummy's been Christmas decor shopping. So I think by next week we will have the... Um... <laughs> oh, 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 no! no. This one's a... Yeah! Yes, sir. It's beginning. Can we have a look? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. These are my favourite, favourite kind of sweets. Like not in just quick, and not in just sweets. They're my favourite of all time, not just Christmas. You love candy canes. They're my favourite. Yeah. yeah. So I think by next week we will Wait, have how many the Christmas we get? decks. Up. I just got you one each. No, we're going on the Mummy's been to all the Christmas. Get your belt on, please. I've been to all the Christmas shops today looking at all the Christmas decorations but the last one that I went to I had to come out because it was that good. I've got to take you back with me kids at this um, garden centre place that I went to they had all these like magical decorations and they had a full section of these little houses. Have you seen them? They're like little houses that are like a decoration and they light up inside and they've got like some of them play music they're really cute and i couldn't choose for you so you need to choose but you know what nancy one of them had it was a little shop yeah and do you know what it, it was called nancy's christmas boutique I need to take you to Wait, choose what's it. Food? Like a little cute shop. It was actually called, it had a sign on it Nancy's Christmas Boutique. Can 
you believe it? It could that? be in my bedroom. Yeah, that's what I mean. It could be in my bedroom like we got it customised for actually found it at shops. Yeah. And Seth had loads of boy ones as well. Baby All, ones? Not gaming ones, no. Yeah. It's like it's, they're like festive, you know, it's like traditional, traditional little shops and windmills and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take you both to choose your own and it can be like a little keepsake thing. Hi everyone, I thought I would just finish off this vlog by showing you some bits that I picked up from Christmas decor shopping. Tried to film the other night when we got in, but it was pitch black and yeah, I'm not great with all the camera settings, trying to get the best lighting and all that. What's wrong with you? Hey, are you coming? <laughs> Sugar wants to be in this, don't you, honey? There you go, so nice then. So, picked up some cute bits, not tons, mainly for the kids' bedrooms. Um, I need to get my stuff down from the attic and just refresh my head with what I've got. Um, but I'll show you what I've got for the kids' bedrooms. Some lovely bits. Maison de Monde and Botanic. Absolute favourites. Anything that I can link down below in the description box, I will. So, first of all, Seth's bedroom. Picked up this beautiful cloche. It's just got Santa and the reindeers in there. And then at the bottom, it lights up. I just thought that I'd be really cosy for on his shelves in his bedroom. Um, I saw loads of stuff for his bedroom, actually. Like, I just love how we've decorated it. Some of you might have seen it from previous vlogs and from the house tour, but it's like a really rustic, cosy, vibe in there and um, yeah there just seemed to be a lot of Christmas decor that would match. Are you alright there hon? She's just jumped upon the sofa now. So yeah that was from Maison de Monde. I'll try and link that down below. That's probably my favourite. Then we got also from Maison de Monde just this lovely wooden star. These have got all LEDs around there just need some batteries but again That'll look fab in his room. We got a teddy bear nutcracker. I've got loads of nutcrackers. Um, I haven't got a teddy bear one, so I thought that'd be quite sweet. He got lucky, Seth did. He got more than Nancy, actually. This, just for his shelves, again, this was only cheap. It was from Giffy, probably about two euros, something like that, but I just thought he was really nice. Again, from Giffy. Just these little trinkets to go on his shelves. Little sleigh. And I just got the teddy Santa to sit in there. And then, again from Giffy, just this hessian bow. I thought that might look good on the top of his tree this year because he usually has a star. But if I remember right, I think it's a bit crap. It's a bit wobbly and stuff. So I'm going to try that, keeping in the theme of his room. Um, oh, and then also I picked up that, um, this like music box thing, which is lovely, but you lot know now that I've seen the real deal. So I think I'm going to return this and then, as I said, like I'm going to take the kids to Britannic, let them choose one of those, um, what's the brand? I think it's Le Max. Let them choose one each. They're absolutely gorgeous. I think I want one. So many nice ones. So that's going to go back. It is sweet, but I don't think we'll need to. And um, like I said, I've seen the good ones now. So that's going back. Then I picked this up. Loved him. It's got LEDs in his uh, wool. Just need some batteries. But I did get that for the front room maybe, but Nancy might pinch it off me. 
Then I just got her a ballerina bauble, of course. Couldn't leave that. Um, this little Christmas decoration, this one was a favourite one. Absolutely love that. It'll either go on a tree or just sit on the top of a desk or something like that. Maison de Monde, that one. Then we got these little cute guys. Again, either on a tree or they'll just sit on top of a desk. Love those. And then last of all, just a little snow globe from Giphy. So that's what I got, little cute loot. But um, I'll keep you posted with anything else that I pick up. Like I said, I just need to refresh my head, get everything down from the loft. Um, I've got two trees, which I love. Like, I really don't need any more decorations for my actual trees, because I'm not changing my theme or anything. I've got one that's really romantic, like pink and gold and champagne. And then the other one is a complete contrast, and it's like a crazy tree. And it's all multicolored, it's got everything on there it's just a real fun tree now last year i did put them both up in this room um but we've got a little bit more furniture since then so now i'm thinking it's a bit awkward i'm like trying to wrap my brain as to where i would put both of them this year i'd have to do a lot of moving around and would it be do i need them both up like in the last house we had like a really it wasn't a huge house, but it was quite um, symmetrical and it had two bay windows. Um, so what I did is I'd put a tree in each window and it'd just look fab from the outside. So yeah, I always did the two trees there, but here, even though we've got more space and it's a bigger house, I'm really struggling as to where to put the two trees. So I might only put one up this year. Don't know which. Probably, you know, keep the whole pink and soft romantic feel, but I don't know. I'm going to have a think. I'm going to everything down, just go over it in my head, and then I might decide to pick up a few new bits of decor. But I'll keep you posted. I hope this vlog has got you in the mood for Christmas. I hope it's got you in the mood for doing all your own decorations. And, um, yeah, I'm wishing you all the best with all your Christmas festivities and whatever you're getting up to. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon in the next vlog.